Ever wondered if the new Logitech MX Master 4 is actually worth upgrading over the MX Master 3S, or if it's just the same mouse with a slightly shinier outfit? Well today we're putting them head to head so you can see which one really deserves a spot on your desk, and which one is basically meh, same as before but with a fancier button. Let's start with the MX Master 3S, the legendary productivity mouse. This thing is already a powerhouse. First off it tracks on almost any surface, even glass, thanks to its upgraded 8K DPI sensor. So if you've been using your laptop on a coffee table or, I don't know, a glass desk your parents warned you about, this mouse won't judge, it just keeps going. Then there's the MagSpeed scroll wheel. Logitech claims it can scroll 1000 lines per second. Yes, a thousand. That's basically warp speed for spreadsheets. You could scroll through your monthly budget and accidentally discover some ancient Excel secrets without even trying. And let's not forget the quiet clicks. This was a game changer when it launched. Now you can click away without sounding like a tap dancing robot in the middle of a Zoom meeting. Your coworkers will thank you or maybe curse you because now they know you're scrolling memes while pretending to work. Ergonomically, the MX Master 3S is a dream. Its shape is crafted for natural wrist posture and the thumb controls sit perfectly where your thumb naturally rests. Long sessions don't become a pain. Your hand feels like it's on vacation, which is nice because your brain is still working overtime. Battery life, 70 days. That's over two months without needing to recharge. So unless you're planning a productivity apocalypse, you basically forget it exists until it finally needs juice. And with USB-C quick charging, a one minute charge gives you three hours of use, basically enough time to get another coffee while your mouse wakes up from its nap. Now the MX Master 4 enters the scene, and at first glance you might think, wait, isn't this just the 3S with some cosmetic changes? But Logitech did add some upgrades that are worth noting. First haptic feedback. Yes, your mouse now vibrates. Because nothing says serious productivity, like feeling tiny rumbles when you click on a spreadsheet cell. It's like your mouse is saying, hey, you clicked, in the most subtle way possible. Then there's the new action ring around the thumb area. It sounds futuristic, and it kind of is. It adds a new control zone for shortcuts. Want to zoom in, switch apps, launch Spotify and cry silently? Sure, go ahead. There's also an extra button under the thumb, which is a blessing if you love customization, or a curse if you're prone to accidental clicks. Logitech has clearly decided that the more buttons, the merrier, or the more confusing. The MX Master 4 also gets a durability upgrade. There's a textured grip, and the build is being marketed as made to last. Translation rage clicking during your late night work sessions won't kill this mouse instantly. And the clicks? Logitech claims they're even quieter than the already whisper level 3S. So you can now click in near silence while your cat judges your productivity from the corner. Other than that, everything you loved about the 3S is still here. The 8K DPI sensor? Check. The insane mag speed scroll? Check. Ergonomic shape and long battery life? Check and check. Weight-wise, the MX Master 4 is slightly heavier at 150 grams compared to the 3S's 141 grams. Normally, that sounds like a lot, but it actually makes the mouse feel more planted, more premium on your desk, like a tiny productivity tank you can flick around with style. Of course, there are some downsides. The polling rate hasn't increased, which means hardcore competitive gamers or those hoping for ultra-fast response won't see a change. The shape and ergonomics remain mostly identical, so if you were hoping for a bold redesign, you're out of luck. The battery isn't swappable, and hilariously, Logitech still doesn't include a USB-C cable in the box. Apparently, cables are now optional accessories for serious professionals. Price-wise, both mice are identical, around £129 in the UK or €129 Euros in Europe. So if you already own the 3S, the MX Master 4 isn't going to blow your mind. It's more like an optional upgrade with a few shiny new tricks. But if you're buying fresh, the 4 is the obvious pick. Haptic feedback, extra button, action ring, and slightly better durability make it a mouse built for today's workflow, or at least for showing off in your Zoom call. So to sum it up, the MX Master 3S is tried and true, quiet, comfortable, and incredibly precise. The MX Master 4 is a polished sequel, adding some futuristic flair with extra buttons, haptic feedback, and a small durability boost. Upgrade if you want the little extras and can stomach the same price or stick with the 3S, it's still a beast of a mouse and will keep you scrolling clicking and working like a productivity wizard for years. At the end of the day, Logitech's MX Master Series continues to dominate the productivity mouse world. 
The 4 isn't a revolution, it's a refinement, but for most people buying new, it's the one to get. If you already own a 3S, just enjoy it until the next generation comes along, probably with a built-in coffee warmer, or maybe even a tiny holographic screen. So MX Master 3S, or MX Master 4, either way, your desk game just got serious. Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit subscribe for more tech comparisons, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.